You gotta give me a cup. Ray. Um, yeah, I will never. I'm gonna have a new couch. And Ray's not giving you that couch. Yeah, but that thing ain't gonna fix my trailer. Uh -huh. He can do whatever he wants to with it. And we're not in very good speaking terms right now. Mm. Try to tell me you can live, you you can't do without sin. Well, bull crap. I know better. What? Huh? Do without sin. He said that. You have to do sin. You can't be perfect. And I said, that's a bunch of hogwash. Um, you can be. Um, and he walked right into heaven. So yeah, you can not have no sin on you at all. In fact, Jesus Christ said, no sin shall enter into heaven. None. So you're going to have to have that sin that's so that you... But what people call sin might not be sin. There's a lot of things people call sin that's not. I mean, sin is what the Bible says. It's what God's way. Yep. Sure does. A lot of people say, and I've heard them say it, I'm going to die and go to hell because I do this. I told them I said, find it in the Bible where it says so. Well, find it in there, and when you show it to me, and you read it to me, because I'm telling you, it's not in there. They didn't have no such thing back then. Yeah. The Bible says, if your heart condemns you, do it not. So if your heart condemns you, you're committing a sin. If it don't, then you're not. See where I'm coming from? Yeah. There's a uh, lot of so-called sins out there. The preacher is preaching sin, 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 and there's not. It's not. Sins. Sins. Anything that contradicts you know, what God says in the Bible, like fornication, homosexuality. Um, so while God right? puts together, let no man put it take it take apart. Or if he, uh, yeah. And God put me and her together. Yeah. And I know he did. Whatever it says in the Bible, contradictory to the Bible, what God says, contradictory is a sin. Right. I agree. And I don't believe I'm perfect. You will be. I mean, I will be when I go with him, but while I'm on this earth, I'm going to be perfect. I'm not perfect. Yeah, I, I told Ray, I said, Ray, there's only one man that was ever perfect with no thought, no blemish, no sin. And I said, it's Jesus Christ. And what does he say? What does he say out of his own mouth? What? You cannot enter into heaven with any sin on you. None. So what does that make you? That means you have to be as Jesus Christ was when he walked on the earth. What did he say? Hmm? What did he say? Who? Ray? Ray? Yeah. He said it's impossible. I said, no, it's not. What did he say? It's impossible what? He said it was impossible to be perfect as Jesus Christ was. But that's our goal. I mean... That's our goal to be as, as he is. And, and, I, and um, I, God's eyes is not man's eyes. God sees things totally different than what man says. I mean, I think we won't be perfect like Jesus is, but we strive to be like it every day. And whenever he comes, you know what the Bible says? You know what the word says? If you endure to the end, you shall, then the, then you shall be saved. You're not saved until, uh, as long as you endure to the end of serving Jesus Christ, our Lord. I'm saved. I'm saved right now. Enduring you're, struggles. If you die, if you die right now, you would make it to heaven. That's what you're trying to tell me. I know that. I agree with you 100. percent Okay. Yeah. But you're not saved until you endure to the end. What is the end? That's either end of your life or when he comes. Uh, I'm saved now. Salvation. I mean, 
to end. I don't believe I can lose my salvation or anything like that. Right, right, right. I agree. I agree. But you're you're not saved yet. It's coming. I am saved now. <laughs> no, you are a born, reborn again of God's child. I you, are, you are God's uh, daughter. So therefore, you see what I'm saying? There's a difference. I don't mean to preach at you, and I don't. Please don't take me wrong. I'm not saying you're not saved mm -hmm. in the in the manner that you think I am. What I'm saying I is, I mean, we be perfect when we get with Christ. That's what I meant, like that. But I'm saved. But you are born again. You're not completely saved yet. You're still alive. Completely saved. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? You're still alive. Saved, You're still but alive. When I get with him, I'll be like perfect like him. And the word says it should be changed like a twinkling of an eye. Just gone, just changed. You'll have a new heavenly body. You won't hurt, you won't have no uh, you'd be perfect in God in God's eyes. There won't be no more pain, won't be no more sorrow. I don't know why he stopped talking. That guy. I don't know why he stopped talking, right? Um He she started going off the wall on some stuff. That's Jesus like, Christ, Ray. Weird. Where nah. it started it was this. He said when you get married, you're going to be the man of the house and you're going to tell her what to do and what not to do. And I said, no, Ray, it don't work that way. I'm sorry, it don't. Uh, I said, I, here's what I told him. I said, she's got a mind of her own and she has to work out her salvation. Talk about him. I can't work Penny's salvation out. I can't work yours out, Amy. I can't. I have no right telling you that you're sinning on anything. Because you've got to work out your salvation with God. That's between you and God, not me and God. Um, between you and God. If you're Christian, other Christians are supposed to tell you what, what you're doing wrong and correct you. Lift up is what they're supposed to do. <laughs> Lift up. Correct them. Do not tear down. Lift up. Yeah. That's what that's what your brother is supposed to do. Is lift up. Oh, and they're supposed to help you if you're in need. They're supposed to do all kinds of stuff that does not happen. You know, all these people, all these people who claim that they're saved and they're going to die and go to heaven, well, they're fools. They're fools. Whenever they walk by and see a brother in need, and God tells them to help that person, and they just keep right on walking. They're fooled. They're not going to make it to heaven. Because that's rebellion. Boy, I can't pronounce it. <laughs> mm -hmm. These churches, I went to a church because I was done without. I was been without. Totally without. Had nothing to eat or nothing. I went to this church and they said, we're not going to give you no food because you're not part of our congregation. Now, is that God? No, it's not. It's dumb. That's not God. Yeah, they are not. But, uh, I mean, even the Catholic Church gives you money, uh, gives you food. You know? And I'm not knocking, I'm not for the Catholic, and I'm not against the Catholic, because uh, they sure ain't going to be standing up there at the pearly gates saying, what denomination did you believe in? <laughs> They're not. There's going to be saved ones from all denominations. He looks at the heart. He doesn't look at what, where you're at. He looks at the heart. Yeah, but a lot of them are not saved because they don't believe, right? Absolutely. I agree 100%. And they're going to be, according to the word, they're going to be.